I saw Mrs Drake when I went into the village. The wife of John Drake, who has Longfield Farm. No. What did she have to say? Apparently, their final able-bodied farmhand has been called up. They need a man to drive the tractor. Well, hasn't Drake recovered from his illness? I thought he was better. No, he is. He's much, much better. But he doesn't drive. So I told her I could do it. What? I said I could drive the tractor. Edith, you are a lady, not Toad of Toad Hall. Well, I'm doing it. Don't look so bewildered. It's simple. I will drive the tractor. Well, can you do that? Absolutely. Can you hitch up the plough or whatever it is I'm dragging? Of course. <laughs> When would you like me to start? <laughs> well, I'd better get you something to wear, then. Ready? Ready! Come on, Daddy. So the victor, the spoils. <laughs> Did you plant that tree? Steady on. It must be 40 years old. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a flattering light. <laughs> My father planted it. But you have to be tough with fruit trees, not let them outstay their welcome. Farming needs a kind of toughness, doesn't it? There's room for sentiment, but not sentimentality. Beautifully put, if I may say so, my lady. <laughs> you should be a writer. Thank you. How are you getting on? Very well, I think. And it's not too hard for you? Not at all. She's stronger than she looks. <laughs> I brought you something to eat, my lady. Though I'm afraid it's not what you're used to. <laughs> Let's have a rest. We've earned it. <laughs> oh, I should have gone in for a glass. I don't suppose you can drink out of a bottle, can you, my lady? I wish you'd call me Edith. And of course I can drink from the bottle. <sighs> Would you like me to teach you to drive? Not much. Then you wouldn't come here no more. Although that wouldn't matter to you. Why do you say that? <sighs> You're pretty and clever and fine. You're from a different world. Something wrong? No, just having a break. Because you want to get into town to fetch the bone meal. And be back in time to feed the cows before it's dark. They could always have a midnight feast. <laughs> <laughs> kept you too long. You better get back or they'll come looking for you. <laughs> We've done a lot, haven't we? We have. I'll be forced to invent some tasks. There'll be no need for you to come much more. Then start inventing, please. I will. Because I'd hate it if you were to stay away. So would I. I'd absolutely hate it. Glad you did. You love me thrown in the tower. <sighs> Only if they give me the key. Edith, this is a message for you. Mrs. Drake writes that they've decided to hire a man, so they won't be needing you anymore. Is that all she says? Oh uh, well, she's very grateful. Here we are. She says she and Drake send their thanks to you for giving up so much of your valuable time. I expect it's rather a relief. Oh, I wouldn't say that. 